Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy knows. It's all your fucking fault. Fucking hell. Sorry for language, guys, but Jesus. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Took off, not a word. Not moving. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She didn't give a shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Should I move? Daddy's very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. Fuck hell.
Oh, sprinting past the order. Come on! Come on then. Get the gun. out of here that's an order no i want you to leave her alone you want what do you mean you want what are you gonna do you're gonna shoot me is that it you're gonna shoot a human you seem to have a problem i think we need to fix that <clears throat> Ah, oh, you got me. Come here, bitch. Ah. Oh, this was supposed to be bonus. Oh, shit. That ass kicked. Expect a brief fight scene. Let's ask a heal. Top point. in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual. 
Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I'm sure it's his son. The reason why I came was stopping. Because my fan's on. And if. I can't hear not with the fan. So I mute the mic so you have to hear the fan. That's why sometimes I stop. For a couple of seconds. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy when some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. No. It'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. No. Oh, killed him. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! So fucking Sean, don't move, bang. Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. 
and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... So to make the stress level higher or lower, I'm not sure. Let's go. Let's go for higher, shall we? Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it.
I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA-9. Who is RA-9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Yeah. <laughs>